Insiders. It's your host, Maria, with this week's Newsflash. It was so much fun doing my Newsflash last week. Thank you so much for your feedback. Now on to the updates. Viewer permission level now includes read-only access to comments. As mentioned in our interview a few weeks ago with Chevy Duke, we added a new feature to viewer permission level. Previously, users who had been granted viewer level access to a channel had read-only view without access to the channel comments. Now, those with viewer level access to a channel will be able to see the comments you've received but cannot perform any actions on them. Leave us your comments below. Next update. 100% launch see audience interest in your YouTube analytics. We said we keep you updated on the progress of this new feature rolling out, and we're excited to say we're at 100%. Creators can now learn more about their viewer interest by visiting the audience tab of YouTube Studio Analytics. This card titled, Other Videos Your Audience Watch can help creators identify topics for new videos, titles, or thumbnail ideas, and collaboration opportunities. The data is based on all viewers of the channel over the past seven days, viewership from subs and non-subs. As a reminder, you may not see this feature if your channel is made for kids or your channel does not have enough information. Next update, memberships, custom emoji, and comments full launch. We've talked about this in a few news flashes, but now all channel members can use custom emoji and video comments as well as live chat. This is available on all channels with membership enabled and custom emoji uploaded. Next update, removing dormant account from YPP. You may have recently heard about channels being removed from the YouTube partner program if they are below the channel eligibility threshold and haven't created new content in six months or more. As YPP continues to evolve, we want to make sure that we're doing what we can to support our creators who are making great content and engaging with the community. And part of that is removing inactive channels from the program. We recognize creators may be taking a break and encourage everyone to take the time they need. We know that active creators who take time off typically come back within six months. If a channel has been suspended, it won't have any impact on their future YPP eligibility. When creators are ready to start making contact again, they can reapply for monetization in YouTube Studio once they hit subscriber and watch hours threshold. Next update. One of the ways we help channels reach a wide audience and improve accessibility for everyone on YouTube is by improving caption tools. Creators can manually add captions to their videos and also provide automatically generated captions. YouTube uses automatic speech recognition ASR to automatically add captions to videos in 10 commonly spoken languages. These automatically generated captions are extremely helpful for many viewers and creators who need captions and otherwise wouldn't have had them on their video. But they are imperfect. They make mistakes. These result in instances where the automated captions were displaying words that weren't said in the video. To better avoid cases in which automatic captions incorrectly display potentially inappropriate words, we are implementing a new default setting, which will replace potentially inappropriate words by default with an open bracket followed by two underscores and a closed bracket. This setting will not affect spoken words in the audio track or captions or subtitles in the manual caption tracks and can be turned off at any time at the channel level in the YouTube studio. With this new automatic captioning setting, it's possible to still get the convenience they offer without running the risk that they might unintentionally offend your viewers or display potentially inappropriate words you've never said. Whether you leave it on or turn it off, this setting does not affect your video monetization status in any way. We recommend you choose a setting that is, that is right for your channel and your audience. While we continue to improve automatic captions and reduce its error, we encourage creators to manually review and make necessary changes to their captions and whenever possible to ensure the best accuracy. Leave us your feedback below. That is it for this week's news flash. Let's move on to our winner from last week's trivia. The question was, what was the first YouTube original? Drum roll, please. The answer is Scare PewDiePie. Shout out to Sharjalan for being the first to answer correctly. And that is... Sharjalan. Are you ready for this week's trivia question? What is the most viewed YouTube original film? Please note, there is a big difference between series and films. Last week's question was on series. This week's question is on film. First person to guess correctly in the comments will get a shout out in the next newsflash. Stay safe. 
Keep it real. Until next time, I'm your host, Maria.